Bandai have released so many different types of Tamagotchi Nanos and collaborations with various different types of franchises across different types of media, from boy bands to anime to movie franchises like Jurassic World. There's been just so many collaborations that they've done, and I just thought it'd be really fun to talk about different collaborations that, not that I predict that will happen, but ones that I hope that will happen. Because judging by how Bandai's going, it's going to be more BTS and probably more Demon Slayer or whatever other anime is currently popular. Maybe Chainsaw Man. That's it. Then let's throw that in as a prediction because the last time I predicted a an anime Tamagotchi Nano ended up happening. It's the the Spy Family one, which is very popular at the moment. So of course it's getting a Tamagotchi Nano collaboration. And of course we have other ones coming out, like the Tokyo Revengers ones. And we have more Molkar ones coming out. So there's probably more anime ones coming, other than just the confirmed Tokyo Revengers one and Spy Family one. But I want to talk about ones that I hope get released. Not ones that I have, I think there's any chance of being released, but ones that I personally think that would fit really well as being a Tamagotchi Nano. Especially because we've had a lot of Tamagotchi Nano releases, which are humans and I'm kind of sick of that. I kind of want more like little little critters rather than just a random guy, but that's just me. So in any case, uh, this first started because on Discord I was talking about how there needs to be more Stitch virtual pets. I've got like this one, and I've, oh, that's upside down, and I've got this one, you know, that, that comes with the, uh, the good deed counter and it's pretty cool, but it would fit really well on a Nano. And that's because the Stitch series that I grew up watching, the Lilo and Stitch television series, which is very similar to Digimon Ghost Game in terms of how they each find the, uh, the perfect place for the character to be at the end of the episode. But in any case, so because there are so many different cousins in that TV series, and there's also the Stitch anime series, which I haven't watched, but I'm assuming it has the same sort of theme as the Lilo and Stitch TV show that I grew up watching. And it would fit really well as being on a Nano. Maybe not all 600 experiments and cousins can be on the Nano, but definitely a good, like, chunk could be on there. Maybe, like, 20 or so, maybe 10, you know, whatever fits, but it would suit really well. You would start off as the little experiment orb like they are on the show, and then they'd evolve into the, the, ex the cousin and then of the experiment. And then if you took good care of that cousin slash experiment, they then could have like their last evolution be them working at their perfect place. Like I think Sparky was the electric one and he went to work at a lighthouse, I think. I honestly can't remember. I've only recently watched the Christmas one and that's the only the first one I've seen in however many years it's been since it was last on air. But it would fit really well as a nano series and the characters would be really cute and Stitch himself is really cute. I'm seeing a lot of Stitch stuff being released, like new stuff being released in terms of merchandise in stores in Australia, which is probably why I'm thinking about Lilo and Stitch more than I have in at least a decade. So... I don't know, it's, there's seriously like demand for it at least, so if there's demand for it in Australia, I maybe it's popular enough to get a nano collaboration, I think it would fit pretty well, it would be cute, especially because we do know that Bandai has collaborated with Disney before, we've had the Twisted Chi, which is like Disney husbands, we've had the, um, I can't think of any more now, um, is, is Pixar is, and Disney are like... They're, they're, they're like friends, right? And they've got Kingdom Hearts, which is essentially Disney, I guess. Disney owns everything at this point, so I wouldn't be surprised. And Star Wars. We've had lots of Star Wars now. We have the R2-D2 one and the Grogu one that's coming next year. Okay, that's two. That That's not too many. But in any case, Disney has worked with Bandai before, so it's not an impossible thing in terms of having some properties collaborate. And it would be really cool. The next one, would, which I think would be pretty cool, but it's not really a franchise that I'm super into, but I feel like it would suit, and that would be Chow's from the Sonic the Hedgehog series. The Chow Garden virtual pet-esque like, minigame in Sonic Adventure 
uh, I don't have that much experience with. I played Sonic Adventure on the Xbox when it got ported over there, but I didn't actually do much time in Chow Garden. But from what I've seen and from what I've heard from other people, it's basically just this cute little virtual pet minigame. If you do have it on the original system, there there is this VMU, which is like the pocket station, but for Sega con- the Sega console, and you kind of like looked after the Chow on a little virtual pet, so that would have been really cute. So having like a little Chow on a Nano would be fairly adorable, and it could like evolve into the various different Chows and maybe even like the Sonic the Hedgehog character versions of the Chow. It'd be really cute, but again, it's not really a franchise that I'm super familiar with, as you can probably tell from my hand-waving, sort of a waving away explanations, but I know enough that I think it would fit really well and it'd be really cute, and not knowing a franchise has never stopped me from buying a Nano before. Never seen Tokyo Revengers, no idea what's it about, but I've pre-ordered the Nano. Uh, Terubuchi is a great nano, probably one of my favourites, but I don't know anything about Token Runbu other than I think they're like sword husbands? Question mark? So that won't stop me. If I don't know about a franchise, I might be, I might investigate the franchise a little bit if it looks interesting, or otherwise I'll just buy the nano. So that would fit really well as a nano. And lastly, something that like, it's a franchise that I've played but I'm not like super, super into, but it would be really neat. And that's Monster Hunter. Now, knowing Bandai and their love for putting humans on the nanos, it could just be like, that this would act- activate the monkey's paw and it'd be like, okay, Monster Hunter nano, but you can only raise the humans. That's not what I want. I want like, you know, you get Wrath, wrath of Loss, you get a, uh, uh, I'm trying to remember more, um, the bear, a- as Azeros? Azuros? bear friend, I don't know. Um, I, I know Rathalos and Rathy and that's about it. I'm I, I, I'm simple. I, I, I see dragon, I like. But I just feel like it would, it would also fit fairly well on a nano to have more little monsters and dragons. And again, I'm not super into the franchise. I really liked Rise. I probably put like maybe 50 hours in, not too, not too many, not too many hours. But I've also played like the ones on the 3DS and they were quite fun. It's not like, you know, my favourite game franchise in the world, but it would suit to be on a Nano so well, because imagine the little sprites of these horrifying monsters. It would just really, yes, it would fit. So those are some three collaborations that I hope will happen. I'm not predicting that these will happen. The likelihood of them happening is fairly low, because, like, I'm not sure if we've had much Chow things from Sonic the Hedgehog for a while. They've had a few, like, references to them, but we haven't, like, had much Chow stuff recently, as far as I'm aware. Again, not super, super into the franchise or into Chows or Sonics or anything. Sonics? Multiple Sonics. Um, I've played Sonic Frontiers. Good game, but no Chows. And then, of course, they're low on Stitch. While the Stitch character is popular enough to have merchandise released, I'm not sure if it's popular enough to have, like, a tie-in Nano. Usually there has to be a movie or something that's currently airing in order for a nano to come out. Or something that's really, really popular, like uh, the Tiny Tan, which is like a BTS chibi version or something. I have a Tiny Tan. You look after a door. Still not sure um, of of what the Tiny Tans are, other than something to do with the boy band BTS. Um, My, uh, the bingo card of things returning from the 90s was not going to be boy bands, but here we are. Anyway, So those are some collaborations I deeply, deeply hope will happen, ones that I'm not super hopeful that will happen, but ones that I would love to happen if Bandai were to ask me what three franchises I would like as a Nana collaboration. Those are three, I would say. But in any case, let me know your thoughts about these franchises that I've pitched to you who are not Bandai, but you can still tell me your thoughts about them. And let me know any franchises you think would suit being on the Tamagotchi Nano. Let me know all that and more in the comments section below. Like this video for uh, me maybe doing videos on the Stitch Electronics one day, maybe. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Still trying to get to 13,000 subscribers as of recording this. So if you haven't subscribed, please, please do so. And tell your friends if you have subscribed and say, hey, I've subscribed to Lost in Translation 1, have you? But uh, yeah, so those are my thoughts for this video. So thanks for watching. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.